Hello everybody, it's Dr. Zeno with 15 Minute Fuel, where just in 15 minutes a day, we're going to fuel your mind, your body, and your future. Alright, just one before we get started, I want to wait for people to get on. For those of you that are watching the podcast that listen to it, thank you so much for listening on SoundCloud, Stitcher, or iTunes. Also, make sure you subscribe to YouTube, hit the follow, and uh, you'll see all the latest stuff. That's where we keep in a nice list all the 15 Minute Fuels, as well as the We Are Heroes. Also, make sure you visit the Dr. Zeno fan page on Facebook. Make sure you like, you follow, so you get all the up-to-date latest great stuff we have for you guys. We have new things coming out. And thank you so much for visiting the IamHero.com. IamHero.com is when we have our One Month to Win series for you guys. It's an entire program, video program, at no cost to you, just to get you in the habit of winning. It's been just amazing. Make sure you check it out. A lot of heart and soul has been put into that. And let me know how you like it. And then, for you guys out there and gals that are sending pictures of your shirts, your hero shirts, thank you for joining the movement to really liberating your hero that's been hidden for so many years. We want to, Because when we liberate our heroes, we give other people the permission to do so. All right, so I'm, uh, I'm working on some time. You know, uh, a big thing is time management. A lot of people say, I don't have the time, so I'm, I'm kind of working on a time management course. So when I'm working on the course... I, I want to bring the concepts to you guys first, right? Then I'll develop the course. So this is where I get to try them out and get some feedback. So we'll work on, so instead of time management, I'm going to call it time expansion, right? Time expansion. Because we actually talked about thinking in seconds, living in the seconds, not in the, the hours and the days. So when you start to think in seconds, you literally expand it, right? You know, I have a video software. When I edit my videos, you know, here's, here's the whole video, like, on, on the timeline. I could actually expand the video all the way out so I could work in the microseconds. So that's the kind of way we look at life, like live in the seconds. So it's really time expansion. It's the, it's, it's the second best thing to actually creating time. And I'll tell you guys how to, how to expand your time in the day so you could actually get more done. So it's time expansion is, is basically a combination of time, uh, time management and productivity. So let's talk about this tip. Uh, this tip is called "Don't start the day until you finished it." All right, these are small wins. We kind of we were talking about this before, where tomorrow you want to make sure the day is planned out. So you, you you have it written down. You go through your mind. You have it on your phone. Make sure you plan the day before you start it. Make sure you plan the week and the month before you start it, because then the next day you have these little things you know you got to you you got to do or you got to hit or some wins you got to uh, mark off, and this begins that habit of winning. So you have that day that's planned. And sure, there's things in audibles you got to do, but make sure that you have an idea. You're planning the next day because then those little things compounded over time, you get so much done. And you're just not, uh, uh, what do you call it? idling at all. Uh, number six, so number six and seven, we're going to different tips. Number six and seven, they're actually pulling from both sides. Number six for time expansion is to multitask. And I heard, well, I had thought multitasking was stupid and dumb. You shouldn't do it. And there was that one research that says if you multitask, your IQ is that of someone smoking weed. Well, um, multitasking is very good to do. But there's certain, there's certain times when you can multitask. And then number seven is focus only on one thing. So I'm going to pull, I'm going to pull from both sides, right? So let's talk about the multitask. There's certain things you can multitask on. For instance... Uh, in the morning when I do my morning routine. So what am I doing? I'm, do, I'm in the sauna and I'm reading my books or I'm doing my detox protocols. I can do three things at once, right? Um, I'm doing cardio and I'm listening to uh, some audios, uh, personal development audios or things to fill me up, right? Two things at once. Or, um, or exercise and listen to audios. You see what I'm saying? We can multitask things. In your car, you can be, we'll probably get to that. In your, in your car, you're building education in the car instead of just listening to music. You can listen to personal development or tapes or whatever you are to actually make your car a university on wheels. You could, uh, I mean, you can multitask so many things uh, that's efficient. You can really get them done in a good amount of time. Easy. Uh, then, but that goes to the, the seventh one is focus on only one thing at a time. So there's certain things that you do have to focus on. So when you're going through the day, see the things you could compound and multitask. Very easy. And there, there's a lot that you can. And see the things that you really are like, listen, I got to focus just on this one thing at a time. I think we, we got so caught up. And because remember, because someone writes a book doesn't mean it's the law. And I know we've been raised that way, right? Well, it's in the textbook, so it's got to be true. So for that one person, the one study that says multitasking actually, uh, uh, you know, lowers your IQ. Well, you know, 
that's that's one person's opinion. You know, there's plenty of things I could do. I could do two or three things at a time, and I'm getting so much done all at the same time. You know, I, I remember, you know, whether it be uh, you know, you could lay in the vitamin, you know, when I lay in the vitamin D bed. So I combine, I can combine so many things that you can. You know, and if I have to take notes on something, if I'm reading something, I'm in the sauna, I gotta take notes, I could take them on my phone, I could dictate it. Or if I hear something in my car, I could dictate it. So I can multitask all these things. So find out the things, go in your life. I don't know what it is in your life, I'm just, I, I can only speak from my experience. What are the things that say, you know what, I could combine these things together, no problem. And then combine them. And then there's certain things, which is step seven, is what are the things that you absolutely have to focus on? So, you know, if I'm doing emails, I, I wanna just focus on that. So when I focus, I could, I could expand time by getting it done in quicker time. When I'm adjusting somebody, you know, I'm just focused in the moment. You know, I, because, uh, you know, I'm not going to multitask that. When I'm writing something, when I'm speaking, right, I can't really, well, I guess I could multitask. You know, I could do, I could speak to a crowd and do a Facebook Live. And, uh, you know, this could then be, you know, the, the audio could be ripped from this, right? So there's, there, you can multitask stuff. But the one things that you got to be focused on, you, you'll know the things that you get focused on, right? So what I like to do, some of the things uh, to multitask, uh, personal development and self-education. I'm not talking about school education, I'm like really educating, self-educating, you know, developing the gifts and the skills that you've been given and making them stronger. Part of the hero's life, part of the work of the hero is to, is to develop the gifts and the talents that have been given. So one way to do that is you could do self-education and personal development in your car. So that's listening to audiobooks or listening to podcasts or courses. There's a lot of courses on DVD or MP3. You can listen to those courses. So this is a great way to make your car a university. Uh, then you could also do this during the fitness in the gym, like I said, multitasking. You know, in the gym, if I'm on the treadmill, I could watch YouTube. You know, I could watch Facebook Lives like this. This is great stuff. So number one, it makes the cardio go much quicker, which is great. You know, versus walking on a treadmill, you can watch these things. I'm telling you that the invention of this phone, and I got the bigger iPhone, it made me getting ready for a show so easy because I never had that 18 years ago. I used to have to have a cassette player and the whole thing. It got really boring. So this is great. I mean, you could watch things, but, but just don't watch entertainment. Watch things that are edifying, that, that, that uh, actually bring greatness to you. Uh, podcast, audiobooks as well, you could do all that. So, you know, maybe in your workout, you listen to the audio stuff, but when you're on the treadmill or doing cardio, you can watch all those YouTube. Remember, YouTube University is the greatest thing ever. So someone actually emailed me saying, where can you find YouTube University? That's my, like, joke for YouTube is whatever you want to learn, you go on YouTube. You know, so if you want to learn how to do Facebook Lives or get the right lighting or get the mic that you need to do, it's all on there. Anything you could think of. So we're not lacking information in society, we're lacking what? We're lacking follow through. That's what happens. So all the information is there, but we have to be able to apply that information. So that's the two things I would multitask right there during the gym because the great thing is if you start multitasking, it stacks, it stacks the why behind doing it, right? So it got to the point where I don't do cardio uh, anymore, but when I do cardio, it's like that's a solid 45 minutes. I could listen to some great audio, watch a great podcast, or, or listen to one, watch a, very, a great video online or you know on YouTube. So because I got in the habit that, I, was, I wasn't waking up looking forward to step on a treadmill or an elliptical machine. I was looking forward that I get to wake up and watch this, um, this video or something I really wanted to look and learn from. I learned so much from it. So it actually, and, but at the same time, what am I doing? I'm getting the, the side effect of health benefits because I'm on the treadmill, I'm, doing, I'm exercising. So this is a great way to, to make uh, fitness something in your life. So uh, you know, it, it's, a, it's, it's a good excuse to work out you know, when you're able to do that. Uh, again, in your car, you make your car a, uh, a university on wheels. And then focus on the one habit to completion. That's another great thing. Um, I, I used to be, but I'm definitely not anymore, is I used to start a bunch of things. So you start all these things and none of them get completed, right? So if you are a starter, an implementer, you start all these things, right? And then they're all loose ends, all right? And the thing is you think you're busy and you think you can do a lot of stuff, but all you did was get things started and really nothing happened. So that's what I call... I saw, you know, you're, uh, you're a spectator, all right? You just, you, you did a, you set out and started a bunch of things, but you have, you have a lot of unfinished products and therefore the end result was never met. So if you do have unfinished products, let's say there's these loose ends, I want you to focus on one of them and complete it, you know, complete it. 
Get used to completing things. That's another thing for winning as well and a time expansion. When you do something, take it to the full completion, right? So the loose ends in your life right now, you might have 10 of them. Okay, pick the one or put them in order and say tomorrow or this week, I'm looking to complete this one. So don't get distracted by all these. Focus on this one, complete it, done. Focus on this one, complete it, done. And on and on and on until these things are completed. Because I know we have a lot of loose ends going on and loose ends cause stress, but they give us the false perception that we're being successful, but we're really being super inefficient and nothing was ever accomplished, all right? You were busy, but not effective. So that's why, you know, take the one thing and close the loop. Start it and finish it. And so right now, my, my thing you guys do for the next month or so, finish the loops. So the things that don't add anything right now, just finish the loops. That's a win. That builds confidence and it gets you in the habit of when I start something, I take it to its full completion. It could be a book, right? I start, you know, I start to read a book. How many of you have started reading a book and you never finished it, right? Open loops. And your mind knows this stuff. So go through the things that you started, all the things you started right now, go and close the loops on all of them, no matter how long it takes. And when they're all closed, then you start adding new things as well. So close the loops. And uh, um, we'll, we'll finish this, this one today. I want you to protect your time. Audit your time. That means go through your day and audit where am I spending my time. Because your time is more valuable than money. One thing, see, money you can replenish. Time you can't. So really look at your, it'd be almost like a time snob. You know, where are you spending your time? You know, is it edifying? Is it, is it making you grow? Or is it uh, around people that are sucking, sucking life out of you? So audit your time. And when you audit your time, protect it. All right, so it's almost like, you know the same thing, protect your heart, protect your time. If you protect your heart, you will automatically protect your time. It's the same thing. If you protect your time, you're automatically going to protect your heart. That's very crucial so you don't get sucked into these uh, rabbit holes that take you uh, months or years off your life. So always be protective of your time. And the greatest phrase to say is this, no thank you. No thank you is very, you know, when someone asks you to do something and your time, you just need that time for yourself or your family, no thank you is, a, is, is, a, is an honest, very good answer, but we feel guilty about it. But you can't because, you know, if you don't protect your time correctly, then you're lowering your self-worth and your value in the long run for the people who really deserve it and need it. So in uh, capping today, don't start your day until you finish it. That was kind of a, a crossover from last week. Number one, personal development and self-educate yourself in your car. And that's a great way to mix fitness and learning as well. So if you're on the treadmill or on elliptical, you can actually watch stuff like we're watching now or listen to stuff. Not music, actually listen to things that are, that are great stuff. I'll listen to personal development. I'll listen to whatever, you, whatever you're into. Listen to it and watch it. That's great ways to uh, multitask. So multitask is a great way for time expansion, get more done in less time. Then... If you're not multitasking, then you focus only on one thing. So all your loose ends, right? Start closing them. Focus on one thing and take it to completion. Boom. You know, I'm looking at this ring light here. And it just the circle is beautiful. You know, the whole thing is completed. So, so start getting your mind. I start something to completion. And it could be a small thing. In fact, I actually watched something on this very principle. And it says there's so, so many people that get so caught up and they're so used to not finishing something. You know how they started getting people to get the mindset to start finishing? Watch this. They just had them draw circles, right? Just start drawing circles and complete it. Draw circles to complete it. And you say that's a waste of time. But it's literally getting training the mind saying that if I start something, I complete it. So just think of a circle. You start something, you complete it. So all the loose ends, complete all, wrap all those things up, get them completed, or bail out of the process anyway if it's something that you're not going to do. Uh, and then audit your time. Protect your heart is protecting your time. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Perfect in this 15-minute fuel where we're doing time, time expansion tips. I got about another 10 that we'll go over over the next couple days or even a couple weeks to give you guys. So any questions or comments or any great time, ex remember it's time expansion. What's time expansion? Making the most of your time. Any great tips you guys have, just message me. If you're not watching this live, still comment or private message me for any topics you'd like to hear. Uh, once again, thank you so much for uh, watching the We Are Heroes show. We have a brand new one coming out tomorrow. I believe it's going to be 37 or 30. I think it's 38 tomorrow. I'm starting to lose track. Um, it's enough, they're always great. I think we're actually going on the, on the plane to Nashville on that one. Uh, in that one. So you'll love that one. We get to see Dr. Josh Axe. 
um, IamHero.com. If you have not signed up, it's the one month to win. Now, the one month to win is going over the stuff we have here, right? I'm, it's, it's creating time expansion. It's getting your body used to winning and the habit of winning. And in the habit of winning, you automatically are going to multitask where you can. You're going to focus on the things you need to. Winning means you're protecting your heart. And then winning means personal development. You're, you're actually investing time and money into you. All right, so have an amazing, amazing day. And thank you guys so much. We're in 15 minutes a day. All our goal is to do what? To fuel your mind, your body, and your future. And we'll see you tomorrow. God bless.